My name is Danny Hope. I'm the curator of UX Brighton 2014. And in my role as curator, I've had a lot of contact with this year's speakers. And I just thought it'd be nice to share some of the things that we've discussed. One of the ways that philosophy helps us as UX designers is in user research. Concepts like hermeneutics and empiricism are good for helping us to pin down the question that we're trying to answer and state that question in a logical way. And understanding things like the philosophy of science and the scientific method help us to design experiments that quickly get answers to those questions. And what we want to show in this conference is that those concepts, while being really powerful, are actually much simpler than they sound. One of the ways that philosophy has helped me as a user experience designer is in creating interfaces that are more robust. That means when a UI has a strong philosophical foundation, it's more likely to be self-consistent and have a good system model. And that leads eventually to users having a good understanding of how the system is supposed to work. It also lets you have an interface which is more adaptable to change. So in those annoying situations where uh, your boss or the client comes along and has a new business objective that the interface needs to meet, or some user research comes in that shows there's some issue with what you've designed, you're more able to adapt it uh, easily and end up with something that isn't all broken. And that leads to better client relationships as well, because you're not so livid when uh, these new requirements come in. What philosophy gives us is a set of tools and a language for discussing each other's ideas. And that means that we can get through problems more quickly and we can do so with less friction, which makes for happier clients and uh, at the end of the day, happy working relationships. Part of the definition of being a designer is that we're creating things that are intended to change the world in some way. The field of ethics helps us answer difficult questions about who to work with, which clients to go with, and how to balance the needs of the users with the needs of the business. Uh, in particular, concepts like informed consent, knowing where informed consent comes from and why we have that, um, help us design tests that are, um, while still being insightful and helping us uh, understand our users, do so without violating those users' trust. So, if you'd like to discover in one day how 3,000 years of philosophy can make you a better designer, visit uxbrighton.org.uk.